History made today as Congressman Paul Ryan becomes the first Wisconsinite to be Speaker of the House of Representatives. It's a job he didn't want a short time ago, but Ryan appeared humbled and even excited to lead Congress in a new direction today. Theo Keith live in Washington with more on Ryan's huge day. Good evening, Theo. Good evening, Ted. You know, after all the talk, all the speculation, almost every Republican in the House voted for Ryan today. He declared the House broken, but pledged to wipe the slate clean. I do. Thank you. Paul Ryan gets sworn in as House Speaker. Earlier, in a strange moment, Democrat Nancy Pelosi gave Ryan his gavel and then tried to hug him. Congressman and Honorable Paul Ryan. Thank you. Ryan went with a handshake instead. Later, he walked into a reception with his wife and kids without saying much to reporters. Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker. Hey. His brother Tobin, who lives in Janesville, said the whole family was proud. Witnessing history when your brother is part of it is pretty surreal. From another room, Wisconsin supporters watched Ryan's speech. There was at least one other speaker in the Capitol Thursday, Wisconsin Assembly Speaker Robin Voss. I have always known how bright, articulate, and intelligent he was, but today, just by the address he gave in his first comments as Speaker of Congress, I think it showed us exactly why he's the right man for the job. Ryan was focused on working together, ending what he called chaos in Washington. Let's seize the moment. Let's rise to the occasion. And when we are done, let us say that we left the people, all the people, more united, happy, and free. His 2012 running mate, Mitt Romney, was in the Capitol and says Ryan can do it. I think he'd be a wonderful Speaker of the House. I look forward to seeing him lead. His brother's advice? He can say true to himself. Not only will he be successful at this job, but he'll be sec successful in, in his family and his faith and, and every other part of his life that's important. His brother Tobin also gave us some insight into what the past 12 days have been like for his brother. He says that even while Paul Ryan was making this decision to try to become Speaker of the House, he was still helping his kids out with their homework and still cooking meals at home in Janesville. Live on Capitol Hill, Theo Keith, Fox 6 News. Well, he said that was important to him. So we had the ceremony today. Is there any sort of celebration tonight, Theo? There is. There's about a three-hour reception that's actually being hosted for the Ryan for Congress uh, committee. And that is uh, just a couple blocks away on Capitol Hill. But the, uh, the real work is that starts next week, as you know, Ted.